And welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of Interest for today, Monday the 14th of November. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst of Go Markets here to take you what's happening through markets today. Let's have a look at the news. Of course, we saw some follow through from Thursday's big rally in the US on Friday. Closed to end the week higher and it was the biggest week since early June. US midterm election continues to surprise with the Democrats being confirmed as holding the Senate over the weekend. The House is likely to flick over to the Republican Party, but that's a dramatic underperformance by the Republicans on the back of what was expected to be a red wave. US futures are choppy, but just below neutral in Asia and Asian indices are mixed as well. The ASX is up just above neutral. It was up higher early in the session. It just seems to have pulled back. Materials are, however, outperforming, certainly some iron ore stocks are doing particularly well. We'll have a look at one of those in a moment. And European equity futures are suggesting a higher open at this stage, but obviously there can be many things that can happen before the markets open in Europe. US dollar index smashed through a support hit a three month low on Friday. Gold consequently bounced, is testing the 200 EMA now, and if it reaches that, then it could quite easily eye a remarkable 18,000 considering where it's been recently. And certainly the back end of last week was very positive for commodities across the board. All have bounced again, still below $100 a barrel, but looks as though it could be a retest on the cards if we get this continued move higher. And copper also was a beneficiary last week. It is now through the 200 EMA and iron $4. Now this was struggling to get over 350 for most of the early part of last week. So the fact that it's at $4 now is significant. We're seeing some calming with the VIX below 25 and at its lowest level since early September. The one exception to the positive upbeat news generally in markets is cryptos. And of course, we saw a massive sell off in the middle of last week in Bitcoin and any other crypto for that matter. And we're seeing it sell again and it's looking really to test last week's lows at this stage. And on the data front, we have quite a quiet day today. We've got European industrial production numbers. It'd be interesting to see what Fed member Williams has to say in light of last week's cooler than expected inflation numbers. So that speech may be viewed by markets. It does ramp up later in the week. We have got significant data out uh, later in the week across the board really and we'll talk about that as we go through the week a couple of charts of interest that caught our eye today now the first one we'll have a look at is the canadian dollar yen you can see on the daily chart essentially we've tested support on friday's trading yen very strong last week against the cad uh, you can see 105.24 looks very interesting as a potential level if we look at the 30 minute chart you can see it's had an attempt at this already in trading this morning in asia so watching that level with interest, a move through that could be quite interesting. In the first instance, you would expect possibly a move up around about 70 pips up towards this 106.11 level. So that could be one to watch as the day progresses. Probably the better looking of the Japanese yen crosses. On the ASX, we really like uh, Nickel Mines Limited. It had a really nice pop today, but it's had a good couple of weeks since it broke through this key level at around about 81. We moved up to the next key level here around about 90. So a push through here is significant. Could take us all the way up to this 200 MA, which is sitting just around the dollar mark. So that would be a very healthy 9% to the upside from where we're trading now could be one to watch. Any of the iron ore stocks are looking good too. We're noticing Champion Iron and FMG are outperforming significantly. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.